Hello, Mac the Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by Republic of Ireland International Denise O'Sullivan. Denise, you were sitting here, you've got your name there, you've got your jersey there, you're off to the World Cup. Uh, how are your emotions? Yeah, I mean, I think the overall emotion is just excitement, honestly. Um, the past few months, it's really felt surreal and it hasn't sunk in. But um, to be here with the squad now, to be with all the girls, to be at that Sky event last night and then to receive my, my shirt today, um, officially, it's it's so exciting and I'm just so proud to be going to a major tournament with this team. Yeah, I spoke to Megan, obviously she's a Cork native as well. Um, and she was just saying that the whole thing at the moment is so surreal, so much made of, of, of everything, but it's great at the same time, I think. Yeah, it's phenomenal. I mean, years ago, we could probably would have got 10, 5, 10 people out here at this media um, day. And now we have, I don't know how many is here, but there's a lot of people here and it's just so great to see. And it just shows the growth of the game and how far we've come along. And um, yeah, there's a lot of investment now these days, a lot of visibility um, within the game. And that, that's where we want to be. And we want to, this team, we want to keep raising the standard and, and pushing that along for the next generation. Well, I think that this is the perfect uh, time to be, to be doing it. I know you have done it all the way up to now, but it, like the fact that the World Cup is there, there's going to be a lot of kids watching. There's going to be a lot of kids looking at you guys as their eyes, as they should be doing. And I suppose in, in that sense, I, you probably haven't even thought of that, have you? Because you're so focused on the pitch. Like. <laughs> yeah, of course, we're focused on the pitch and that's our ultimate job. But um, I think it's very important as well that we, we do keep raising these standards and now we've got to a major tournament. We're not going to stop there. I think once that tournament's over, we're going to try and keep raising the standards again and it's all about the next generation and uh, what we what we can do for them. Um, a lot of people, the Emma Burns, the Anya Gormans, um, the Nia Fahey now and the Louise Kunz who are actually going to the tournament. It's they've done a lot for this team and they've they've pushed the standards for us. So I think it's about us now doing that for the next generation that's going to come in. Yeah, I suppose the foundations were built and you're kind of building them are adding to that now at this stage. So I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. But just just on the the whole World Cup, I mean, the squad seems such excitement, you know, just smiles everywhere. Everyone just seems so happy. I know, look, there was a couple of players missed out and stuff like that. It's always going to be difficult uh, to leave them kind of behind and stuff like that. But going into this now, you must be very excited because, you know, you 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 were still playing at your club up until this week. So, you know, you've kept sharp, which is good news. You know, when you got the game against France that you could just, I suppose, top up the sharpness yeah. and then take that in then the following week. and. I suppose em embrace it in a way as well. Yeah, of course. I mean, over the past two weeks, the girls have been in camp and um, obviously I'm the captain of my club in North Carolina and that had to be my full focus um, with that team. I have a big role there, but always in the back of my mind, I was thinking about the squad. They were in here, so I was a bit anxious wanting to be in here. But now that I'm here, it's uh, it's really good. I'm starting to feel the buzz around it and um, I'm buzzing to get training today. My first session in with the team and then on to France, it's going to be a huge game for us. Um, they're a very high quality team, high level, and um, it's going to be a great preparation going into the World Cup. Yeah, and obviously we want to have a sellout crowd there as well, and, and a good send-off as well. I think it's important that the, the team get a good send-off as well. Yeah, 100%. Uh, we're hoping for a big crowd. I know the tickets are already sold out, so hopefully everyone comes along, and we know the support will be there. The, the Irish fans are absolutely fantastic, and every time you play in Tallis Stadium, you really feel that buzz, so... Um, I'm sure they'll come out and give us a great send-off, but we want to give them a, a good game as well to look forward to. Well, I just want to, just two things just before I finish up. Just I just want to get your, your, your favourite moment, I suppose, over the course of the campaign, whether it was the playoff or whether it was the, the campaign itself. Just kind of your favourite moment. I know you played your part in that goal for Amber as well, so you might, you, but what is your standout moment? I mean, favourite moment was probably that final whistle blown against Scotland. I mean, you can't get any better than that. It was just, it was phenomenal. It was a sigh of relief. Um, a lot of green shirts in the stadium that night and just how far this team has come what they've went through um, to get us here is, is really phenomenal and now we're, we're going to a major tournament so that was a big highlight for me yeah absolutely and just on the World Cup itself I know you come from a big football family um, and you would have been watching a lot of football a lot of World Cups over the years um, but what is your kind of did you ever have a moment where you kind of were, like you were watching the World Cup and you were like wow what a, what a moment that is like I'd love to be there on that stage someday. I can't remember what World Cup it was, but I was very young and uh, my dad actually brought me to the bar. I think it was about 9 a.m. in the morning, but um, I think it might have been against Germany, the men's team. Probably. No. Yeah, probably, I think so. 2002, yeah. Yeah, 2002, that's right. And I was just there with my dad, the Ireland shirt on, seeing all the Irish shirts around. There was just such a great buzz. And um, 
yeah, I just always believed football has always been the biggest thing for me. That's all I had on my mind. And I always knew I would be in an Ireland shirt and that's what I dreamed of. And now fast forward, going to my first major tournament with a, a team that I've been with so long, it's just so special. Yeah, but look, I know uh, people are wrapping up here and I just want to say best to look over there and I hope everything goes well, fitness-wise, everything like that. We'll stay injury-free and uh, see you over there. Best of luck. Come on, Thank Ireland. Thank you. Appreciate it.